Hello students, welcome back to the e-learning space for MGM Higher Secondary School, Bukaru. This is the first video for your reader lesson number 12 of class 8 English. Lesson number 12 is titled Lord Pullen's Daughter and it is a poem written by the very famous and well-known poet Thomas Campbell. About the poet Thomas Campbell, here is a picture of him. He was born in the year 1777 and died in the year 1844. He was a Scottish poet. He is remembered chiefly for his sentimental and martial lyrics. He was also one of the initiators of a plan to found what became University College London. About the poem, Lord Ullen's Daughter by Thomas Campbell is a well-known ballad. It tells the tragic story of two lovers. The Scottish chieftain of Ulwa's island falls in love with Lord Ullen's daughter. In order to escape the wrath of Lord Yolen, both the lovers run away. Lord Ullen and his men chase them on horses. The lovers come to the shore of the tempestuous sea. The chieftain asks the boatman to row them over the ferry. He tells him how he and his beloved are being chased and sure to be killed. The boatman is reluctant at first because of the stormy weather, but then he agrees to take them to the shore in his boat. He spurns the offer of a pound of silver. He states that he is undertaking the deadly voyage for the sake of the beautiful girl. As the boat moves on, the storm grows fierce and the waves rise high. Soon the storm becomes fiercer and the waves rise menacingly higher. The boatman fails to handle the boat. The boat sinks. Lord Ullen's daughter raises one hand for help and puts the other around her lover. Lord Ullen and his men, who have reached the shore, see the boat sinking. Lord Ullen helplessly watches his daughter perish in the ravaging waters before his eyes. He asks her to come back and promises to forgive her lover. The raging storm makes the rescue of the lovers impossible. Lord Ullen becomes a picture of regret and remorse as the lovers are drowned before his own eyes. Let us now read this beautiful sentimental poem by Thomas Campbell. Lord Ullen's Daughter a chieftain to the highlands bound cries, Both man, do not tarry, and I'll give thee a silver pound to row us o'er the ferry. Now who be ye would cross Loch Guy, this dark and stormy weather? Oh, I'm the chief of Ulwa's Isle, and this Lord Ullin's daughter. And fast before her father's men, three days we have fled together. For should he find us in the glen, my blood would stain the heather. His horsemen hard behind us ride, should they our steps discover, then who will cheer my bonny bride when they have slain her lover? Out spoke the hardy highland white, I'll go my chief, I'm ready. It is not for your silver bright, but for your winsome lady. And by my word, the bonny bird in danger shall not tarry. So, though the waves are raging white, I'll row you o'er the ferry. By this the storm grew loud apace, the water weight was shrieking, and in the scowl of heaven each face grew dark as they were speaking. But still as wilder blew the wind, and as the night grew drearer, adown the glen rode armed men, their trampling sounded nearer. 
O haste thee, haste, the lady cries. Though tempests round us gather, I'll meet the raging of the skies, but not an angry father. The boat has left a stormy land, a stormy sea before her, when, oh, too strong for human hand, the tempest gathered o'er her. And still they rode amidst the roar of waters fast prevailing. Lord Ullin reached that fatal shore, his wrath was changed to wailing. For sore dismayed through storm and shade, his child he did discover. One lovely hand she stretched for aid, and one was round her lover. Come back, come back, he cried in grief, across the stormy water, and I'll forgive your highland chief, my daughter, oh my daughter. Twas vain, the loud waves lashed the shore, return or aid preventing, the waters wild went o'er his child, and he was left lamenting. Coming to the paraphrasing, we will look at the stanzas one by one. A chieftain to the highlands bound cries, Both man do not tarry, and I'll give thee a silver pound to row us over the ferry. In the first stanza, somebody who is a chieftain. Chieftain means the leader of a clan or a tribe and he was going to the Scottish Highlands, the Highlands of Scotland. He is calling out to the boatman. Boatman is the person who rows a boat in a water body and carries passengers from one shore to another in exchange of some money. So he is calling out to that boatman and saying do not delay. Tarry means delay and Take us in your boat to the other part of this river, to the other part of the sea, and I will give you a silver pound in exchange of your service. Come to the second stanza. Now, who be ye would cross Loch Guy this dark and stormy weather? Oh, I'm the chief of Ulwa's Isle and this Lord Ullin's daughter. Now, the boatman asks a question because he is surprised. It is a dark and stormy weather. A storm is gathering in the sea. The name of the sea is Loch Gael. So he says, who are you? I am surprised that you want to cross this water body in this dangerous weather. And the answer comes, I am the chief of Ulwa's Island. Means I am from Ulwa's Island and I am the chief there. I am the leader. And this lady here with me is the Lord Olin's daughter. And fast before her father's men, three days we have fled together. For should he find us in the glen, my blood would stain the heather. Now continuing his conversation with the boatman, the chief of Ulva's Island says that, Please take us before the men of Ullin, Lord Ullin are here because we have been running away from them for the last three days and we want to get away from them. So the story behind is that the chief of Ulva's island and the daughter of Lord Ullin, they are madly in love with each other and however, Lord Ullin is against their matrimonial alliance and he is angry at this love affair so, the daughter of Lord Ullin and the chief of Ulva's island, they are both eloping. They are running away from that place. From the last three days, they have been running together. And he says that if they find us in the glen, what is the meaning of glen? You have come across this word in the very first poem given in your course book. Glen is a narrow valley and especially this word is used in Scotland or Ireland. It's a narrow valley. So he says that if the men of Lord Ullin find us, they're going to kill me. And my blood will flow or it will cover the wild plants. Heather are the wild plants. So he says just take us away quickly before the men can find us and kill me. He also continues to say, 
His horsemen hard behind us ride. Should they our steps discover, then who will cheer my bonny bride when they have slain her lover? He says that Lord Ullen has sent his horsemen behind us and they have been riding behind us and we are not really out of danger. So if they find us, they discover our steps means if they find us, then who will take care of my bonnie bride? Bonnie means beautiful, attractive bride, this woman that I'm going to marry. If I am discovered and they kill me, if I am the lover of this woman, woman and if I get slain, slain means killed, especially by a sword or a knife. So if I get slain, who is going to cheer for my beautiful bride over here? So please, both man, hurry and take us away from this place, away from the clutches of these people who are after us. Listening to the story of the chief of Ulwa's island, the boatman says, Out spoke the hardy highland white, I'll go, my chief, I'm ready. It is not for your silver bride, but for your winsome lady. Highland here refers to Scotland. So he says that the boatman says, white means brave. So the brave boatman of Scotland says, okay, chief, I'm ready to take you into my boat and row you over. But it is not because you are going to give me a silver coin or silver money for that. I am doing it because of your beautiful lady here. She is an attractive and charming lady and I am going to do it for her. He also says, And by my word, the bonny bird, in danger shall not tarry. So though the waves are raging wide, I will row you o'er the ferry. Now he says that, I promise that this beautiful lady of yours will not wait for any longer in this dangerous situation and even though a storm is about to rage even though the sea is getting dangerous the waves are getting dangerous i will help you i will take you into my boat and i'm going to row you over to the other part by this the storm grew loud apace the water wraith was shrieking and in the scowl of heaven each face grew dark as they were speaking in this stanza the poet describes that as soon as they got into the boat the storm that was impending already came the storm started growing loud and the water wraith was shrieking water wraith means the sea monster the ghost of the water because the storm was growing the sea waves were huge and crashing so the sound that it was making felt like the monsters of the sea they were crying and shrieking and the heaven the sky it started growing dark and it felt like it is angry it is scowling at these three people in the boat how are they daring to take a journey in the middle of the storm through a boat so the sky started becoming dark and because of that the faces of these three people also grew darker but still as wilder blew the wind and as the night grew drearer adown the glen rode armed men their trampling sounded nearer now the poet continues to describe the entire scene and says that the wind started becoming even stronger and wilder it was not something to be tamed and the night it became even more dreary means dangerous but the sounds of the hooves of the horses that the men of lord ullen were riding came nearer and nearer they could be heard in the valley and they were armed armed means they're carrying weapons they're riding horses, they're carrying weapons and they're coming after the chief and Lord Ullin's daughter. Oh, haste thee, haste, the lady cries. Though tempests round us gather, I'll meet the raging of the skies, but not an angry father. So these words are of Lord Ullin's daughter. As soon as she hears the sounds of hooves nearing the shore, she, she gets 
impatient and she tells the boatman please hurry haste means hurry please you hurry the lady said and she said even though i know a tempest is gathering tempest means a storm is gathering i am ready to meet the rage the anger of the skies i'm ready to feel the wrath of nature but i'm not ready to face the anger of my father so please hurry and take us away from here even though the sea is going to be engulfed in a storm the boat has left a stormy land a stormy sea before her when oh too strong for human hand the tempest gathered o'er her in this stanza the poet describes that the boat left the shore but it was like leaving one storm for another why does the poet say it was like leaving one storm for another because on the land armed horsemen were waiting to kill her lover and in the sea a storm was waiting and perhaps they will die in the storm so both the places were not safe for her but she would rather get away from her angry father than face him but the poet tells us that the storm became extremely strong extremely dangerous and no human would be able to survive that storm and eventually the storm engulfed the poor woman and still they rode amidst the roar of waters fast prevailing lord pullen reached that fatal show his wrath was changed to wailing so look at the words look at the change in situation lord ullen's daughter was running away from him with her lover she wanted to face the storm of the water but not the anger of her father and in that situation what happened her own life was endangered she kept asking the boatman to keep rowing getting away from the shore even though a huge storm was approaching them and it already engulfed them but she kept asking him to move away from the fatal shore fatal means dangerous shore to her the shore felt more dangerous because they were ready to kill her lover but as soon as lord ullen reached the shore he saw that his daughter was in the middle of a storm and he was no longer angry with her she was in danger and looking at this side lord ullen's heart melted and he was no longer angry with her he was crying he was wailing he wanted her daughter or her to be safe he wanted his daughter to be safe and he was wailing for her safety he was crying he was looking at this entire scene and crying he wanted her safely back on the shore for so dismayed through storm and shade his child he did discover one lovely hand she stretched for aid and one was round her lover when he reached the shore he over here is lord ullen when he reached the shore with his men he saw this terrifying sight of his daughter in the middle of a storm with a boatman and the love of her life and looking at the so shocking situation he noticed that the girl was asking for help her one hand was stretched out for help she needed help from her father but the man could not do anything however she did not leave her lover even till the end one hand she was reaching out to her father for help and the other hand was wrapped around her own lover she wanted help from both of them she did not really want to run away from her father nor did she want her lover to be slain or sacrificed at the sword she wanted both of them and this was her tragedy she was in the middle of the storm her life was ending her lover was by her side and she was reaching out to her father come back come back he cried in grief across the stormy water and i'll forgive your highland chief my daughter o oh my daughter over here lord ullen's fatherly instincts kick back and he no longer is angry with her the daughter 
who is engulfed in the storm is a sight of sorrow for the father he shouts please come back dear child oh my daughter oh my daughter i have i have no issues with you i'm going to accept you and i'm not going to kill your scotland chief the chief you so dearly love i'm going to forgive him just come back to me come back from the storm get away from that danger it was vain the loud waves lashed the shore return or aid preventing the waters wild went o'er his child and he was left lamenting but was it of any use it was like no use crying over spilt milk the danger had already came to the daughter he so dearly loved she was trying to elope from him but she was killed in the storm the storm the sea the river the water body had eaten up his lovely daughter and there was now no coming back from that point the loud and strong waves dropped on the shore there was no returning to back to the shore nor was it possible to send any help no help can reach her on time and nothing can be done to bring her back the waters had already become too wild and the child the daughter the woman lord ullen's daughter was covered in sea water and the lord here lord ullen was left lamenting he was crying in sadness and disappointment he has now lost his daughter forever and because of what because he was angry with her and he wanted to kill her lover so he is never going to forgive himself he's so sad he's so much in pain that's the sentimental ending of the poem a romantic story of a young woman and a leader comes to a tragic end these kinds of poems are meant for singing and hence they are ballads ballads talk about sacrifices love heroes heroines and the tragedy that befalls them this is a ballad look at the rhyme scheme a b a b it can be easily sung so this poem shows us the relationship between a father and his daughter also the relationship between two lovers and the sacrifice they made for the sake of their love because they were they were in love and it was not accepted by the father of the woman in this video we have read the poem and done the paraphrasing learn the glossary given in your textbooks it is very imperative very important for you to understand these word meanings if you want to comprehend the poem in a better way in our next video on this lesson we are going to discuss the same poem with more details till then thank you all and take care